Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, haul. This is the second part that I started yesterday. And yesterday I mentioned garage sales and didn't show you anything from the garage sale. I actually only bought two things from a garage sale and they were these really cute frames. They're very, very heavy. They're silver. And I'm going to cover uh, my daughter's friend. But that, I put my daughter's homecoming picture in there. It fit perfectly. It's like a 4 by 6 little frame. And it's super heavy. And the back has to actually screw on. Which I really like because it keeps the, the picture from uh, moving around. And then that was 50 cents. And this one was also 50 cents. And in this one I put pictures of my kiddos and myself when I was... Um, when I was young and they were babies, uh, my son and my eldest daughter there. And they fit perfect. I really wanted the glass only that was in here because I have another frame, which is actually right here. And it's a very odd, I guess I'm going to have to measure it. It's a very odd um, size there. And I was actually trying to buy the glass out of here just to put in here. But since it didn't work, I used it um, for some pictures. And I'm still on the hunt for this uh, for this glass, and this is a frame, I don't know if I've showed it to you in one of my hauls, I probably have, but it was three dollars. It's very thick wood, and it's got this really pretty um, Moroccan type design, I really like it. Alright, so that's that, and then I went to a great thrift store, it's, uh, it's called Nam here in Houston, um, it's the one in Spring Branch, and it's huge, and they have a section that they kind of boutique off, so to speak. So they have really, really expensive things. I saw a lot of St. John there. One of my subscribers mentioned that that designer, and I had never heard of it. But anyway, they have a lot of there. They even advertise it in the little placard. And they just have all kinds of very high-end, everything from Prada to Miu Miu. They had a Miu Miu bag for $150, which was beautiful, but uh, I didn't want to spend that. Anyway, and then, so I did buy this, this um, belt and I like it. I always like when the studs are really really nice and not stapled like those cheap things you might find at the mall. This was six dollars but I really like it and I love the neutral color. It does have a brass buckle and uh, like I said in this department of the store they have a lot of coach, a lot of designer bags but they're all fairly expensive. Um, Fifty dollars, forty, fifty dollars. But they're very nice, and they have a lot, a lot of shoes. I'm waiting for them to reduce some of these um, houndstooth boots that I saw. They have them for 35 but I don't want to go 35 I'm going to wait for them to mark them down to 10 But nonetheless, I did shop in the accessory area, and I found this fabulous bracelet. This actually has uh, strands of those Rolo-type uh, chains all through it. It's 20. I counted them. 20 strands and then it's just uh, put together with a little embellishment there and it, it fits, uh, you can actually adjust it as well. It's got a chain clasp that can be adjusted. Isn't that gorgeous? I think this is the ultimate statement bracelet and I can't wait to wear it. And that was six dollars. Oh yesterday I also showed you a, oh, I'll tell you about that later. I'll just uh, I'll just link it at the bottom. I was going to talk about that sweatshirt that I showed you at the end. I didn't tell you the price, but I'll just put it at the bottom. Uh, then I found this cute, cute uh, Whiting and Davis mesh bag, and this was also $6. And these have always done really well for me at uh, on eBay. And um, usually I only buy them the Whiting and Davis mesh, but the other day I, um, I did find another one that was another brand. And I kept thinking, it's really nice and, and very, you know, very well constructed. But when I picked this up, it was just luxury. And the, it's actually weighty. So immediately I was, I was drawn back to um, the uh, regular brands that uh, may look the same, but they just, you, you can just tell from the weight, from the silkiness of it, they're amazing. I've seen many young girls pick up... Um, collections like this or finds like this at thrift stores and they're, uh, they'll look through and it says, and they can barely pronounce the name Whiting and Davis, but this is an absolute collector's item. People love this stuff. I have been selling Whiting and Davis for the longest time and I had quite a collection of mesh bags that, um, that I, I did let go of and on eBay. But uh, I probably will list this, and it is brand new. It's pristine inside. So if you're interested in, if you have a collection of Whiting and Davis, or you think it might make a nice gift, look on my Etsy shop. You'll probably find it later. 
All right, then I found some boring stuff, but I thought they were um, very necessary. I bought seven bags of hangers, these uh, slack hangers, for $2, and I bought three packages. There were seven in each. Some were actually uh, wood, and then those were plastic. Then I found this vintage uh, wrapping paper. I'm going to see if I can unwrap it a little bit. And the reason I say it's vintage, this was $1.50. Uh, is because it's actually got the uh, the Holy Family on it, and you rarely see um, religious uh, type of um, Christmas items anymore, especially in the wrapping paper. So of course I love it for a gift, but I'm thinking decoupage. Isn't that the most beautiful picture you've ever seen? I just love it. It's a red background, and it's got the Holy Family on there, or it's actually got the Blessed Mother and some angels, I believe, not actually the Holy Family. But I just loved it. Very drawn to that today or yesterday when I found it. And what else did I get? Okay, then I found this hat. I think I've mentioned to you that my son and his wife. Oh, here's another hanger that was in that package. And I really, really like this for hanging um, necklaces, ties, scarves. I've always wanted one of these and I haven't been able to find one. So I was excited to see that in a package. Anyway, my son is a real uh, beer geek. He uh, brews his own beer. He goes to all these conventions for crafty beers and I found this and it says Schlitz and Schlitz is just your typical all-American beer so I didn't want to waste my two dollars that I spent on it so I texted him the picture and asked first I, I asked him if he'd heard of Schlitz beer and he said yes and I texted him the picture and I said do you want it and he said get it I'll take it so isn't that cute and it's wool so that's always a plus it's a nice and um, nice and warm Another boring but very necessary thing that I bought was a clear um, backpack. It's got the Shell Oil uh, emblem on there. But the reason I bought it is because my sister uh, works in security and she has to carry her things in clear bags. And she totes tote bags and, and backpacks and whatnot, but they, they wear pretty fast. So um, every time I see one, I buy her one. All right, then I found this fabulous... I mean, I was just, I saw it and it was all rolled up like this. So it makes a perfect neck scarf. And then when I looked at it and tried to open it, it started crackling. And it's obviously mohair or uh, some type of very fine wood. I mean wood, excuse me. <laughs> very fine wool. And it's just so intricate, intricate. Why can't I speak today? Sorry. Intricately designed. It is, uh, it's laced stitching. It's got the little jagged or scalloped edges there. Isn't that beautiful? It reminds me of uh, spun sugar. And it actually sticks together when you push it together. But then it makes an also a, just a square scarf. So you can, I guess you could drape it over your shoulders if you really wanted to. But I like it. Whoops, I like it for a neck scarf. Don't want to get it caught in that ring. And I really think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Sort of an eggshell color. This was also $6 at that boutique end of, the, uh, of that thrift store. No, wait, this was $4.99, $5. And I thought it was a steal because I have bought things like this. Excuse me, I have bought things like this at department stores. I bought um, a big black one once, and it was from Neiman's, and it was extremely expensive, and I got it on sale, and I think the sale price was $80, so they're really, really high-end things in that in that boutique area, and I love that. Then some jeans. I got these. These are, say, the, the brand is Setois. And these were $3.90. They're black. They're straight leg. They do fit. I already tried them on. And um, they have some zippers in the back. They have some little detailed zippers. They're very, very stretchy, so I really like them. They do have a little shorter zipper, but like I said, they're stretchy, so I managed to uh, squeeze into them. Then I got my daughter some really cute. I had just seen at the dentist's office uh, the day before I got these, or so, that... Uh, Again, like to all trends come and go. Gray jeans are the trend. They showed a spread with uh, Kate Moss donning some gray jeans with just a
casualty biker jacket and uh, God knows what else on her. I think she was wearing boots, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, and then I find these and they're nice and skinny jeans. They're by Vigos or Vigos, V-I-G-O-S-S -S, Studio. I don't know. I don't really, I'm not very familiar with jeans and, you know, all of their the trendy brands. But she liked them. They have the little, uh, it almost looks like a longhorn or some kind of western motif. But uh, they're very soft and stretchy. They fit her perfect. And these were only $3. I took off the tag because I washed them and she wore them already. And then I got her this cute top for $1.70. This it totally reminded me of Renaissance and that kind of stuff. It's got a nice big scallop collar. It's got the hook and eye closure. And then this detail here actually looks like leather, but feels like, I don't know, it almost feels like paper. And it's a soft, um, I would say sort of a brown, sort of a brown color. And um, I think it's really, really cute. I like it. I haven't even showed it to her yet, so I may snipe it if, uh, if she doesn't take it. So guys, that is the end of my haul. I'm sorry for all the mumbling and fumbling this morning. It's early, and I thought I would try to get this out of the way this morning because um, it's just so much easier when the house is nice and quiet. Keep commenting on my videos. I really appreciate you coming by and watching my videos. Still holding out for those 400 subscribers so we can give away that stuff and we can start another one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.